Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today and in this video I'm going to explain to you why we upgraded from a class C motorhome to a class A motorhome, what we love about it and why we will never go back. Stay tuned. So for those of you who don't know the difference between a Class C and a Class A motorhome, a Class A is a straight up bus basically <laughs> and that intimidates a lot of people. I know it intimidated us so that's why we decided to go get the Class C which was the first one we had. The Class C is on more of a van chassis so it's a lot smaller and it feels like you're just driving a van and it has a bed over top but this one is a straight up bus. But honestly, it's not that bad to drive. I promise you. Both Josh and I drive it all the time. It's not bad. This one is 32 foot Fleetwood Southwind. So it's pretty short when it comes to class A's because um, there's a lot of them that are over 40, but it's not that bad to drive at all. So another difference and one of the things that we love about the class A are the huge windows. You see how big those things are. They collect a lot of bugs, that's true. But it also means we have an incredible view when we're driving. And compared to our Class C, we prefer this so much better. You have a great, a great view from your drive. And it's also safer because you can see further up in traffic because you're raised up above all the cars in front of you and you can look ahead. Another huge benefit to having a Class A RV over the C is the storage and the storage in this thing is incredible compared to our old rig uh, in our old rig we couldn't even hardly fit table and chairs and loungers and now we have so much space we actually have totally empty bins and we've got giant suitcases around here I mean it can fit everything we love it Another benefit when it comes to a Class A RV are the sizes of your tanks. Now the fuel tank is so much bigger that we can go almost twice the distance down the road before we have to stop for gas, which is a huge benefit because it's a real pain to stop off and get gas, guys. Um, we also love the fact that the holding tanks, the freshwater gray and black tank, are almost double the size of our Class C RV. That means we can boondock for way longer and we don't have to worry about getting, you know, dumping the tanks and things like that. We also like the fact that everything is kind of housed together together in this one um, in one space we got the electricity the hoses you know everything's in one place it's it's actually a lot better and I almost forgot to mention the class a RV all of your holding tanks are under here in this heated compartment space that means that you can actually go out and camp when the weather's a lot colder versus a class C where the tanks are exposed and they freeze a lot easier so this one the tanks are heated a lot better all right, now let's go inside and talk about what we love about this rig, because it just feels so much bigger than our Class C. Can you come and lay down over here? Can you lay down? So being that Class A's are a lot bigger in general, the room here feels huge. What we specifically love about this rig is the size of our slide. It's enormous. It's like half the length of the RV slides out and it's a lot deeper than our old rig. So it just gives you tons more living space. Having so much floor space is really great when you have a big dog <laughs> who takes up a lot of space. <laughs> So let's talk about the front of the rig. This is another thing that was really great and a big difference between a Class C and a Class A. The Class C, your front space is not that usable compared to the Class A. This one, it feels so big and it's way more open, it has huge windows, and it's more usable space. And this one in particular, one of the reasons we bought it is it has a desk. And this desk area, guys, is amazing. So it pulls out, type on the computer, plug in, it's awesome, it's the best desk we've ever had. So in our old Class C RV, we only had a couch, but we wanted recliner. So we actually ripped it out and put in recliners, which worked, but it, there really wasn't that much seating space. So the thing that we love about this one is we have a couch and we have a recliner as well. It's a rocking chair and it swivels and it's a recliner. Lay all the way back, watch TV. Other person can lay over there. Um, a lot more space 
And what's nice is this actually moves around. And we have a little additional table right here, which is cool. It actually folds away, but then it can pop back out and it's another workspace. So now that's the living area. Here's the dining room and the kitchen and Hannah's dining room. She has decided now to eat her breakfast and it's the afternoon. Anyway, so this is the kitchen. We love the kitchen area because we've got these really cool inserts that actually give us a lot more counter space. Way better than the old one. We didn't have these. So much more counter space. Another thing we really love though is this. We have a combo microwave and convection oven in this RV. The old one, we had a propane oven and we had to get down on our hands and knees to light it. It was horrible and it didn't even cook very well. This thing is incredible. It cooks everything. We bake, we, I mean, just, it's amazing guys. And it cooks incredible. I'll never go back. Another benefit to this class A is the size of our refrigerator. Now we don't have one of those huge residential styles. Um, we just have sort of a double a double-sided fridge, which is almost twice the size in our old, that our old rig had. And I can tell you when we went on longer trips, the old RV fridge, we couldn't hardly fit anything in there and it would all start falling out. This is fantastic. We don't have any issues. We can fit a lot more stuff in it. So then we have the hallway here in our bathroom. Now the bathroom is one thing we sacrificed on this rig because our class C had an amazing bathroom. It was an anomaly for class C's because it was huge. But this one is smaller, but it's still pretty good. It has all your basics, everything you need. And that's the bathroom. <laughs> so now we have the bedroom. The bedroom is very similar to our class C, but what's great about it is our slide is a lot bigger. The slide goes out further, so it gives you more room around it and a lot more space on the side here, which is nice. We can fit Hannah's bed. Uh, in the old RV, she had to sleep half in the hallway, half in the bedroom, which was a bummer, because uh, she likes being in the room with us. So this one's nice, we could fit her bed. She could stay with us. A lot more room to move around, get dressed without bumping into things. Uh, so overall, it's pretty awesome. We love it. Last but not least, because we do everything for our dog, really. Uh, the reason we got this RV was also because of all the space it offered in the open area. In the old one, we would stumble across her bed, end up like kicking her on accident. But in this RV, she has her own couch space. It's out of the way. She can hang out, watch TV with us, and we don't stumble over her. So that's it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this tour today. If you're thinking about whether or not to get a class C or class A, really depends on your needs and your budget, but we would say class A is the way to go, honestly. Uh, you get a lot more for your money, I feel like, and especially if you're gonna be full-time RVing, class A's are amazing compared to the class C's. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, make sure to you know put them below. You'll also see some links to blog posts and some other resources on our website for you. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.